And onto the first segment, and it is the product of the week. Okay, so the product that we're gonna be using to style my hair this week is actually the Baxter's Clay Pomade. And as we've seen in the past, Baxter's is a barbershop which they have in California, uh, and they have quite a few different products actually. There's some really nice, uh, elegant designs. Actually on this one, it's it's a little bit of a different print and a little bit of design, different design, which I haven't actually seen on any of them before, so I don't really know what the special uh, design of it all is actually. It's got the hundreds on top of it, but it's a little bit of a different print. Normally it's just like a glass box. Uh, but yeah, slightly different one here. And the way that they describe it, it's a paraben-free hairstyling clay pomade infused with natural, ethically sourced ingredients such as clay and beeswax. Clay pomade texturizes and molds hair into place to deliver a strong, pliable hold, works well in any hair type. Now something that always really annoys me about when hair products and hair companies call all of their products pomade, so a clay pomade or a paste pomade, it's, a pomade is like in the traditional sense, is like a water-based sort of slick pompadour hairstyle product is how I picture it. Whereas this, it's either a clay or it's a pomade, it's not a clay pomade. And so I never really get that with a lot of American companies, but they tend to do that. But, And this is a firm hold, matte finish, and why you'll love it. Perfect for cool, undone styles, matte, pliable holds, so hair isn't stiff, texturizes without any shine. Now the price of this, I believe it's about 19 pounds in the UK. I remember, I think that's what we were selling it for when we were at Joe & Co. I guess if online, you could probably get it for a little bit cheaper than that. And the main ingredients, Petroletum, Sarah Alba, beeswax. Okay, so in it is one, two, three, four, five, six that water is mentioned. Now water products tend to work better on my hair, anything that's got more of the petroleum or anything that's got like the clay or the beeswax in there, they tend to not be amazing on my hair actually. They tend to sort of weigh it down and end up making my hair look a little bit greasy. So we'll see how this works because uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. I've actually used it a couple of times in the shop. Um, it's, it's always looked quite cool when people have walked out, but obviously not really them enough to see the full look after and assess it really, after a few hours of, of use. So let's try it out. So when you open it, it's actually it's very much like what you would expect from a clay. It's sort of thick, uh, waxy, oily based feeling. Uh, you take it out, work it through your hands. Uh, you have to really warm it up, and, and then, but it does warm up in your hands very nicely and very easily. Uh, it's got a real distinctive smell to it actually, and even I was actually cutting someone's hair yesterday. You could smell the hair. Uh, I could smell the product and, and what it was straight away. I knew that's what they were using. It's got a very distinctive smell. It's kind of like a very licorice-y, uh, like a black licorice smell to it. But it's actually, it's it's not really very offensive. It's, it's, it's really quite a nice smell, I would say. Actually, I don't really like the smell of licorice normally or like the taste of licorice at all. But actually, this is quite pleasing. You warm it up in your hands and instantly you're getting that grittiness feeling. Uh, it, it almost feels as though there's sort of like some grains in there. And it's when you then put it into the hair, it's... It, it, you, you instantly feel as though it's grabbing onto the hairs and it, it's, it's easy to work through because it it's obviously got that oil base so you're it, it's constantly working through you've got that sort of oily greasy feel to it uh, but it's got the grittiness so it almost feels as though it dries it out a little bit as you can see it gives it a real nice PC texture uh, it's actually even when just styling it up then it felt like it maintained the, the volume and the height in there quite well I mean even though it's looking in the mirror now it looks like it's, it's actually maintained that a lot more than what even I would expect normally from something this this way inclined. Normally in my hair it tends to drop very quickly, uh, but it felt like it's actually sort of sat in and held into that this place straight away actually. Now due to the nature of the product, it was incredibly hard to wash off your hands. I had two washes and you could still like scrape it off and you could still get some residue on your hand. Almost when you were drying it with a towel, you had to feel like that was actually not just drying it, that was sort of almost wiping some off as well. So it's, I mean, it is going to be that way. So if I'm being honest, I'm dreading having to actually wash it out of my hair because I feel like it's going to be a real effort and it's going to have to use something very stripping to be able to get it actually all the way out of your hair. But I do actually love the way that it looks. So we'll have to see how this lasts then during the day. So we're at the end of the day and actually the hair has actually lasted really quite nicely actually. It's, it's lasted, or it's, it's actually been a lot better than what I was really expecting. I would say actually it's, it's kept quite a nice volume in through there. It hasn't got really too greasy. I was expecting it to sort of go onto my face. I was expecting it to really feel as though like if you ran your hands through it, there'd be quite a bit of residue. But actually it's, it's been quite pleasurable. It, it stayed 
in a nice texture, nice shape with it. It doesn't feel too heavy. It hasn't felt like too much shine or too much grease to it. Um, I've actually been very impressed with it. it it's, it's lasted really quite nicely during that day. And even, yeah, and when you run your hands through it, still it, 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 it doesn't really feel like there's any residue and actually feels nice. So for me, this has actually been a real surprising win. And yeah, very happy with this actually. Oh,